How's it going, everybody? I'm Nate, back with more Yu-Gi-Oh! I bet you're thinking, hey, Nate, uh, woo, look at you. Uh, why did you not record for two weeks? Well, that's because I had the flu. I'm sorry that I had the flu, but if you're watching this all in playlist mode and you had no idea I had the flu, well, I had the flu. So, back to Yu-Gi-Oh! with you. The time had come for the Duelist Kingdom Tournament Finals, and Yugi and Joey were more than ready. I sure hope I'm doing the right thing and deciding to duel again, but with Grandpa's soul at stake, I have to. Yugi and Joey walked into the arena and met with two other finalists, Mai and Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith had cheated his way into the finals, but he had no plans to stop. Yugi, Joey, Mai, and Bandit Keith, I welcome all of you to the playoff arena. Here is where you last great duel monsters duels, or the, where the last great duel monsters duel shall be waged to determine the championship of Duelist Kingdom. Only one of you shall emerge victorious, only one of you shall win $3 million, and of course the victor playoffs shall also earn the rights to challenge me to a final duel. The victor will be granted one request, whatever his or her heart most desires, and it is in within my vast power to do so, their wish shall be granted. The victor will also be declared the undisputed Duelist Kingdom champion, ranked number one in the world. And boys, that'll be mine. Surely any duelist has come this far must realize the title, and not the money is the real prize, is that so? You're a regular comedian in America. The money's all I need for my sister's operation. Yes, yes, and I'm sure some of you have more riding on this tournament than others, right, Yugi? You've got my grandpa's soul, bitch, and Mokuba, and even Kaiba captive, but I'll find a way to defeat you and save them all. The first semi-final match was Yugi versus Mai. Although Mai was now friends with Yugi, she was now playing to win. I used to think, well, I used to think the only person a duelist trust was herself. Everyone else was just an opponent. Then I met Yugi and learned through him that even the strongest opponents in the arena could still be friends outside of it. If I hadn't, if he hadn't loaned me those star chips, I'd have never made it to the final round. I owe him a very great debt. I promised Yugi an honorable duel, and that's what I'm gonna give him. But if he thinks I'm not gonna, or uh, this means I'm not gonna battle all out, he's dreaming. I'm going to give this match everything I've got, so when Yugi goes down, it'll be a victory I can be proud of. I promised him an honorable duel, not an easy one. Story deck. All right, cool. We are now Yugi. I have accomplished hardly anything in the last two weeks, so I am trying to do a tiny bit of recording today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day, second, uh, the next day, the next day, the next day, the next day, and then hopefully by one of those next days I just said, I'll be able to record with Vince. I don't know, everything's breaking. That's my, my curse is that uh, whenever it's a new year, it's just shit breaks. Oh, thanks for immediately starting with your harpy wave. Mm-hmm. What's that? Harpies versus blobs? Yep. Link that shit. Why did it... Why did she do that? Let me... Oh... Okay, she... Mm, well, I've got brain control, one of my favorite cards. That lets me take a monster, but I can only hold on to it for one turn, so that's like a last ditch. I'll take your really strong monster and slap one of your other things really quick. Um, I got Curse of Dragon, which... I can't use, I got that which I can't use, and I got Mystical Elf which I can set, because high defense. I got Dark Hole which is like a last ditch effort, and I got Mirror Force. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait, yeah I'm going to wait on everything, and I'm just going to leave it off with the Mystical Elf in defense mode. She doesn't know what's down there, I don't know what's down there, and again guys, I think I told everyone in earlier in this Let's Play series that... I'm going to temporarily stop this Let's Play right when I'm done with Yu-Gi-Oh's campaign. If you guys are just heck-bent on me playing every single campaign in this game, then please tell me so I can play through the other campaigns because, as I said before, there are six entire campaigns, and there's only one that's short. I think there's only, yeah... Because the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, uh, 5D, Zexels, and uh, whatever the fifth series is, those all have 30 duels plus. And the Vrains one, because Vrains just came out last year, uh, that one has five duels. So, let me check their attack. I can start off with a slap. Yeah, sure. All set, Mirror Force. And we're gonna curse the dragon. Getfucked.com. Uh, yes. Yes. 
And then whichever the strongest of her monsters is is going to get slapped. Hopefully, like you got her face down thing wasn't good. Um, I'll leave brain control there. I'll leave snatch steel there. Okay, battle phase. I love Yu-Gi-Oh a lot though, so this is going to get me back into the swing of things. You're the strongest, get bent. Also get bent. Mirror wall. I hate you. Well, guess what, slut? Uh, main phase two. You do something stupid, I do something stupid. Have fun with that one. End phase. Well, mirror force. Each of your opponent's monsters... There you go. So it's only until the end of the turn. So she's going to summon something. No! Oh my god! She happened to have Harpy's Feather Duster. And that was my hope. Holy shit. Well, heart of the cards, don't fail me now. I am down to a quarter life already. And every single one of her cards is played. Hmm, damn it. I was prepared for the worst, and it still was the worst. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm... Mm, mm. Fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred. I can't do shit with Celtic Guardian. Oh my god. And I'm not going to heal her. There you go. Equip only to a monster your opponent controls. So you control that monster and they get a thousand life points each turn. I could combine that with this, but then I'm going to have to... Yeah, sure. Damn it. This is a last ditch effort, everybody. Let me take your strong bitch. Give me... Give me brain control. I hate last ditch efforts. Um, you're slightly stronger. Give me. I've got Celtic Guardian 2. Perfect. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a whole bunch of slaps to you. So, you slap you. I didn't want to do this move, everybody. I wanted to do Black Hole, be like, ha ha, bitch. But this works too. There you go. But she's going to get a thousand life right as soon as I end phase it. Which sucks. It's the only catch to Snatch Steel that I hate. She gets that back because that was brain control. She gets the thousand. Yeah, I know. You're welcome. And that's going to kill her monster. Give it back to her. Fuck you. And I'm dead. There we go, everybody. That's how Dual Monsters works. And I'm done. That was seven turns in, though. That was seven minutes. Alright, let's try that again. And you know exactly how I'm doing this, guys. If the story deck fails two or three times, I do my overpowered uh, created deck. And we'll see how that pans out. Because I don't want to waste y'all's time. Second again. I feel like second is better because then you get an attack wave and you get one more card. And I pretty much have the same setup. I have polymerization, which I can wait. Hysteric sign again. Cool, you can add elegant, whatever the fuck that is. The enhance your harpy lady move. And she's gonna start off on the defensive, that scares me. That means what she has isn't that strong, and I got two Mystical Elves. That's all I can do is a Mystical Elf set, and... Thank you, Shadow of Eyes. Fuck. You. Why does it flip it to attack? When your monster sets an opponent on the field, hurry to set monster is set to attack. Get bent. God. Okay. Oops. Oops. Is it start? No. There you go. It's B. Why did I think it was X for a second? I am too tired. Well, this is gonna suck. Am I allowed to steal her monster? No, she's gonna blow up my... What? She blew up her own spell card. Now she's gonna try to slap my... Elegant Egotist again. Which lets you summon an... Oh, of course you... No, I'm screwed already, guys. God damn it. This I hate this combo. It, it's so unfair if you have the true Harpy Lady combo. Because you can just do that. And look. Now you set it an attack. Now you're getting a bonus. 
Now you're gonna slap my. Ugh. Now you're gonna slap me directly. But look at how much damage this is all doing. And this is turn three. And I'm almost dead on turn three. That's why I really hated my Valentine's deck. And look. And she's gonna summon another Herpes Feather Duster. Destroy spell cards and trap cards. You're funny. I wish I had Black Hole right now. Okay, I got Griffer, but everything will get destroyed by that. I'm gonna set Mystical Elf, which is a bad thing, and I'm going to activate Snatch Steel. She's gonna blow it up. I'm gonna take you, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go Battle Phase. I'm going to slap you blowing up one of your other Harpies. She's going to activate Harpies Feather Duster on the next thing and blow up my spell card. I know that for a fact. And then she's going to try to attack Mystical Elf. I know this. This is the worst duel ever. Nate doesn't play video games for two weeks because he's violently sick. Comes back. This shit happens. There, called it. You're welcome. You can have it back. And now they're all even more strong. Now she's going to use... Yo! She fell for that, but now she's going to blow it up. And then she's going to kill me. Bye! That was really quick. Holy shit. Alright, you're, you're fucked. Dot com, user deck. Number two, basic. Hopefully this works. Ugh. And this time I'm going to go first. No, I, I'm not allowed to, I guess. No, I guess I am allowed to. Thanks, game. I wanted to go first in the first place. Ooh. Please get another monster. Oh, nope. All monsters you control. Uh, I can't summon anything. I can mirror force her, though. And I have Swords of Concealing Light during your card. Your second standby phase. I love Swords of Concealing Light. Let's save that. During your draw phase, when you draw a normal monster, you can reveal it and draw one more card. During your draw phase, when you draw a normal monster, you can reveal it and draw one more card. Okay. What's that mean? Oh, it's a continuous. That means that every time I draw a monster, I can draw another monster past that. Sure. Okay. And then this is Banner of Courage, all monsters you control, gain 200 attack. I'm going to save that and end my phase. Because I have nothing I can do. Ow. Ugh. Pain. Oh, and she's immediately going to start with Harpy Queen. Going to get Harpy's Hunting Ground. She's going to play that. And of course she is. So if you guys don't know, half of my Valentine's deck is just Harpies. So everything is just a Harpy monster that's going to slap you. She immediately blew up my card. She blew up an elegant egotist. Oh my god. No! I hate that combo! You see what this combo is, guys? I don't know if you guys are, like, really looking, but every time a monk. So if there is any cards when that card is played, it blows up whatever's on the ground. So I'm gonna have to play Swords of Concealing Light next turn. Because I'm going to take a shit ton of battle damage right here. And this is really not fair, but it's fair. It's in the rules. Look at that. Holy crap. There's going to be some duels that are going to take me... Oh my god. Well, what's this? Target one spell or trap card your opponent controls. Send it back to their hand. Oh, I can special summon this, though. Elector, Sovereign of the Birds. So, fuck you. And attack. But now Harpy's Pet Dragon is 2700, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine it with Swords of Concealing Light. Ha! And then I'm going to also activate Banner of Courage. Giving this guy a boost. Wait. Oh, during the attack phase. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attack her stupid dragon. There you go. And what's this? Okay. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end phase and then hopefully, because Swords of Concealing Light is on there, she can't do anything other than have him face down defense when this card is active for two standby phases. Oh no. Well, it's also gonna be in face down defense, Swords of Concealing Light, mm-hmm. All right, I don't know if that was the smartest move, lady. Copycat is a great card. I love Copycat. Oh, but we can't play it right now because there's nothing that's face up. It's a face of opponent monster. Yep, okay. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to battle phase. Please be something weak. It was. Thank you, Banner of Courage. You barely saved us right there. If we didn't have the Banner of Courage, guys... We would have been screwed. That would have slapped us, and then Swords of Concealing Light would have done a standby phase. Uh huh. You do that. Uh huh. You do that. Give yourself a stronger harpy. Oh, great. She's going to give it armor. And now she has exactly the attack I do. So she's sacrificing that. Perfect. So now we're on a clean slate. Cool. Okay, Fighting Spirit, Equip Monster, blah, blah, blah. And, okay, we are absolutely screwed. Because all we have is Copycat and then an Equip card. And this is another Equip card. So I'm hoping that the card she has in her hand and the card she's going to get on the top of her deck aren't monsters that have more than 15, 1450 attack. Okay. End phase. Because the only monster I have is Copycat. And Copycat's only good if there's another monster on the field that they control. Okay. And I'm dead. Wait, no. I'm not dead. Aha! Oh, I have to set it. Good. I was so worried. You guys heard me not talking there for a second. Okay, she's going to direct attack me, but I'm still alive, barely. And now what I have to do, this is going to be a really stupid move, everybody. Of course I don't have a monster. Increase the attack of all fire monsters by 500. I mean, this one's a fire deck. So what I have to do, here's what's stupid. Summon in Copycat. And then what Copycat's going to do is he's going to take the attack and defense of Harpy there. So he's 1,200 and 1,200. Then I'm going to equip Fighting Spirit to him. You see how this works, everybody? It's so stupid. So I can barely defeat that Harpy. And I don't have any fire monsters. If I had a fire monster, this would be perfect, because then I can stack it. And then we're going to do 1,700 damage, or 500 damage to her. We're finally doing damage to my Valentine. We have, like, no health. Pretty much anything she does is going to kill us, but she's only going to be able to get one card. So this is going to be a slowly chip away at her game and hope the one card she gets isn't good. Let's see. Fuck you. And she's going to steal my Alba. Um, and I'm dead. That was it, everybody. That's the game. See? Fuck you. This was so dumb. She's even beating my custom decks. Oh my god. Ugh, on the next installment, we're actually gonna beat my Valentine. I'm starting to get angry. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you in the next cleavage. Your move.